What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be talking about the red light node district or red light finance. Who remembers in Squid Games when that creepy doll would go, red light? Uh, yeah, anyways, <laughs> this is uh, another node project and it actually launched today after being delayed uh, yesterday. So we're going to go through the project, talk about how the launch went, talk about what I think about the project and just go over it uh, from a, I guess, passive income point of view. Now, before we get started, guys, I want to say, um, I do not own any of these tokens. I'm here to pump my bags and I don't have any nodes, uh, but I do want to talk about it because this is something that has been on my radar for a while now and I am going to still continue to look into it, right? Uh, me personally, my passive income play, I am strictly into strong nodes. Uh, I'm not a maxi. I'm not saying no other node project will survive or exist or be successful, but I wanted to make that disclaimer out there as well. And I also want to say I'm giving out about 2,000 strong nodes. Yes, 2,000 strong nodes. Uh, within the first year of my NFT project being launched. So that is going to be linked down below for the Twitter. If you guys want access to that, guys, uh, that's going to be crazy. Okay, so go check that out. Now, let's talk about Red Light Node District. So here is their website. Uh, and this did actually launch on the Avalanche chain. So on the uh, AVAX C chain, I believe. So you can see on the website, it says launching soon, but it did actually launch. Uh, and about Red Light, right? So I'm not going to go through every single thing, but for the most part, just so you guys know, this is a node system that passively rewards its users. Now, through the power of NFTs, play to earn games, and our sustainable tokenomics, our users will have the ability to earn more income than with any other node system currently active. Now, again, I want to say, remember, a lot of these projects are going to be slashing rewards, right? So for example, we saw Thor recently slash their rewards as well, and a lot of people were upset about these slash rewards. Even strong node, the OG node themselves, they slash rewards. I, I believe about twice, if I'm not mistaken. Um, they even did a happening. Okay, so again, this is cool that it launched, and this is very new. And I believe, from my understanding and from what I'm predicting, now till whenever they do slash rewards, because again, I would assume that one day they're gonna have to slash rewards. Now would be the best time to get the maximum ROI, okay? Now, again, I'm not saying to go invest in it, but that's just what I'm saying. Now, they did an AMA, they did a bunch of stuff. Uh, we can see all the socials, um, the two projects that they have, and uh, I don't know, I think the languages. The team is fully docked, so you guys can go and stop them, see what they're up to. But they have a roadmap as well. So phase one is uh, the promotional group red light di token district, cool. Then the... Uh, <laughs> what is this? The uh, node district on Avalanche blockchain. So this is the current phase. Then they want to launch a game. <coughs> Excuse me. So a play-to-earn game with node endpoint integration through peer-to-peer -peer multiplayer and NFT technology. Game is being developed by 8-Bit Crypto. Then phase four, a multi-chain launchpad. Okay, so we're going to go through uh, their roadmap um, and just kind of see what exactly they are all about. Uh, but before we do that, I want to say, guys, this did launch. And like I said, a lot of people that bought in are up at least 2x, right? Some people may have even caught a 10x over here. Uh, we can see it's currently trading at $11.70 something cents. Um, but again, we can see this is on DexGuru. Uh, the ticker is actually Playmates. Uh, a lot of people did think that it was going to be... Uh, uh, Ticker, ticker symbol uh, like R and D or something like that. Um, on their Twitter as well, we can see the project has been released. You have congested AVAX on the launch. Uh, you have convex. Okay, let me try it again. <laughs> you guys have congested AVAX. The launch has been so big. $25 million market cap only after 20 minutes. Okay, so we can see um, a lot of people are actually con like, I guess, confused and comp and like complaining because a lot of people didn't actually get to, uh, I guess, buy any of these tokens when it first dropped. Uh, and a lot of people were pretty much just pissed saying that, you know, nothing really happened, blah, 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 whatever. Um, this is actually the DAP. So you guys can see there isn't really much info on here yet, uh, but you guys can see uh, the rewards. You guys can make your nodes as well. So they actually have, it's called mansions. So you guys can make your mansion and we can see it's interesting. So 80% of new nodes go into the rewards pool. Okay. So again, that's just something people should know of, okay? Uh, there's also going to be a district, so you can, uh, I guess, use, upgrade your mansions into districts, and you'll be then able to upgrade your districts into cities. So let's take a look at their white paper, and guys, like I said, remember, do your own research, do your due diligence. I'm not going to go through every single thing uh, in this project, and I want people to understand, I guess, the main I guess, gist of things. So you guys go through, read the white paper, and understand everything before aping in. Do not be crazy all right now uh we're gonna skip a lot of the stuff here like we don't really care about all this stuff but okay here we go so we can see uh each node has tiers as well so for example 20 playmates tokens are are traded in to generate one mansion so a node 20 mansions can be traded in to generate one district so a more rewarding node and 1.5 percent increase with their entire wallet plus a minus one decrease in claim tax okay so we're gonna get into that in a bit uh, coming soon can be traded to generate one city okay so again that is gonna be coming soon so um 
Again, guys, go through, read, read through all the stuff. Uh, the art looks pretty interesting too. Um, some like Playboy type things going on, so that's pretty interesting. Now, the NFT integration as well, go through and read it. The tokenomics, right? So there's a 2 million total supply, 200k to team wallet, 1 million to reward pool, 500k to exchange, and 300 to pre sale. So there's a 0% buy tax. There is a 40% transfer tax, okay? I don't know why that is, but everyone needs to understand that. Um, maybe. If someone does know, let me know in the comments down below why there is a 40% transfer tax. That's outrageous. That's insane. Uh, a 10% sell tax, okay? So 50% of the 10% or 5% of the total transaction goes back to the treasury. 30% goes, or 3% uh, of the total transaction goes back to the reward pool, okay? And then 10% gets distributed into liquidity. So uh, again, very interesting as 50% goes into Playmates and 50% goes into AVAX. So 10% also goes to the marketing wallet and there is no burn to increase sustainability for the future. Okay, so very interesting how um, a lot of the times that people sell, there is going to be something going back into the reward pool and the treasury as well as liquidity. Okay, so this isn't really a burn as they mentioned here, but it kind of just powers the ecosystem and kind of makes things going. Okay, so tax only occurs on sales to ensure that there's no need uh, to work out slippage when purchasing enough for a node. The launch price goal is 30 cents a token. Now, the pre-sale allocation you guys can go check out as well. And here are the more tokenomics, right? So we can talk about the node nodes here um we can see uh, i guess the uh, cap on this is 210 district caps and the city cap coming soon uh, and then again each node type produces one playmate per 24 hours of node creation before any taxes slash bonuses are applied right so again the cost of mansions will also increase after the user has created 10 mansions uh the taxes we can see over here as well as well as the node purchase distribution now there is also a claim slash whale tax so total taxes up to 50 percent transfer taxes to 40 percent we can see so again interesting here how they have that now sustainability okay so the reason that they have all these taxes is for the sake of sustainability, which is interesting. Now, industry analysis, we can see over here, they do mention uh, StrongBlock. So they say here, again, very bold claim, unlike notable projects such as StrongBlock, our technology and smart contract allow the growth of the reward pool, not only from node generation, but also from the sales of the generated token from those nodes. So again, very interesting. Now, the next steps, which is in their six months estimation, uh, so advertisements, increase NFT integration, node upgrade expansion, play to earn game integration, exchanges, and apply for a listing. So guys, that's pretty much it for this project, right? So like I said, it's very interesting. It was very hyped on Twitter. Um, a lot of people were pissed that it was, I guess, delayed since yesterday. Uh, and a lot of people are in it and a lot of people are still pissed again because some people weren't able to buy and their transactions failed and uh, the Avalanche chain was going crazy. So. Let me know in the comments down below, guys. What do you guys think about this? Uh, I know a lot of people got burned on Time Wonderland recently. I'm making a couple of videos on that. Um, maybe this is the next AVAX project that people want to get into. Maybe people want to start making notes. What I think is a lot of people are going to start dumping their tokens once they realize that they've made a decent amount of profit. Like I said, a lot of people are up 2x. They're not going to care to dump uh, once this project does shoot up a bit more. And I do think that the price is still pretty cheap. Um, I think if you wanted to swing trade this, maybe catch some momentum, uh, that could be a play. If you want to actually note up, that could be another play. Like I said, this is a very, very risky project to get into simply due to the fact that it's very new, not a lot of information on it. And like all node projects, we know how most of them end up going. Okay. So if you guys want to see more videos like this, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about the project. Hit that subscribe button. Like I said, guys, go check out my NFT projects, Twitter. Uh, like I said, we're going to be launching hopefully within the next month. And uh, yeah, it's going to be insane, guys. going to be giving away insane amounts of strong nodes. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Now, guys, that's it for this video. Until next time, remember, stay seeking success.